Alright guys, what's going on? Uh, this is Optic and I'm here to show you a quick tutorial about how to do your own little clip montage, whatever you want to call it. Um, so let's start. Well, what I do first is, uh, well, first off, uh, if you want to do a video, you create, for example, a new project. Uh, there's already, you know, templates that you can pick out of. Uh, you can, for example, select Share Factory, uh, and you see the check marks. Uh, they're previews of intros, uh, title, intro, outro, uh, whatever. Uh, you can see what the clip is by just hitting the R2 button, and it's gonna give you a quick preview. Now, uh, these automatically are checked. What you could do is uncheck them with the X button um, and just skip, you know, you can keep one or two, whatever. Um, I like this one for the beginning, for the, the outro, and I like this one for the intro. So maybe you can do this one first and then this one second, whatever. Uh, we're just going to stick with this one for now. And then if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see all the clips that you saved. Uh, how do you save a clip? Uh, during gameplay, if you do like a sick ass, you know, sick ass play, or you you know you, you get a good kill, uh, you want to go click the share button on your PlayStation controller, and then uh, you click uh, save uh, video clip. I think you can wait until it uh, hi highlights, and then you can click uh, the square button, or you can drop down, scroll down, and then just click you know save clip. It's gonna save. Uh, Usually it saves about 14 minutes uh, worth of uh, gameplay. Uh, once you press the share button, it will restart. Um, and I have a lot of little clips here and there that I, you know, got throughout my time in Fortnite. Um, we can do a quick video uh, on. Let's try. We can try. I'm going to try this one for now. Uh, I clicked on it and uh, once you're done, clicking, you can click more. You can select more obviously. But uh, I want to do this one for now. Once you uh, select it, you obviously uh, you want to press square and start the project. Um, you can rename it. I mean, we can put, you can put uh, for example, test one doesn't really matter it's just so you know what you know you want to do more than one at a time I usually do just, just do one at a time but there's times where I, I'm doing you know two or three different ones and I go from there uh, so you can see now you have your timeline if you use your uh, right joystick uh, you can scroll faster now if you hit your pad in the middle uh, and just kind of like swing it to the side it will obviously you know move around faster and then here is the outro that you saw in the beginning um, I like to you can move it uh, how do you do that you press the square button see the little wrench on the side square button is basically gives you this menu where you can time band split clip trim clip you know basically all this good stuff this is what you're gonna need if you're gonna you know try to you know uh, move things around and all that but for now let's do the move clip I press the L1 and it drags it all the way to the side so this is where I want it if you click uh, if you click the R2 button it will start your video okay so now you started your uh, your intro this uh, little thing in the middle that's called a transition if you highlight it right in the middle and you press square it gives you the option of edit transition uh, transition replace transition whatever uh, you can play around with it there's different transitions you can do uh, you pick your favorite for example if we uh, if we delete transition say you don't have it 
uh, you want to click the clip before uh, and then you click X to add the transition so you, you can add a clip you can add a screenshot you can add a track music uh, add layout filter and then an overlay so we're gonna do add transition and like I said you can test them out see what you have here uh, these are cinematics if you go to the side you go to the solve crossfade fade uh, fade from color fade to color I usually like the blur fade it's the most common one uh, you see that's what you had before so now to the fun part uh, obviously you have uh, about 14 minutes of uh, gameplay here not everything is you know good uh, so you just want to like kind of like slowly move aside see right here what I like to do is when I get a kill I like to revise it so I'll just move a couple seconds before here I know here I'm gonna you know get a kill so what I would like to do is I would like to uh, click the square button and then split the clip I split it confirm yes and then I move to the side and delete this clip by clicking square again I confirm it so now I got rid of uh, the clip that I you know the the clip that I don't want to use so now I'm s starting where I want to um, guy uh, breaks the wall I kill him obviously he's a bot uh, and then I build a wall there right there um, I would like to uh, split the clip again so I click X confirm now I don't want to delete this because this is what I want to use so I'll just keep I'll just keep rolling it boom boom he dies uh, keep going keep going I think I get a couple more kills in this match I don't remember uh, okay right here maybe not okay right there uh, maybe right here I want to split it again now all this is just junk now uh, delete it uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. okay maybe right here I can use this uh, uh, something else so I would like to split it um, and then right here boom another kill okay confirm okay so now once you're done once you're done you know splitting everything out you want to click uh, circle to go back to the menu and what I want to do here is um, first you want to what you want to do is just split everything once you split everything once you split everything then what you want to do is uh, add your transitions and then add your effects and then eventually add your music uh, so what I got here now uh, here let me just split everything for now that way we can you know get that over with obviously the more you do uh, you know the better you're gonna you know understand you know the functions and everything and you know get better ideas here and there um, it's pretty fun I do it for fun I don't do it obviously you know to impress which is probably the you know the main reason to do it but I like to um, I like to combine every, you know the music with uh, the gameplay and and all that fun stuff uh, it's just it's just fun for me and I do it on my spare time so I don't really matter okay we're gonna stop there okay so what we're gonna do now I already split everything um, I have my different clips here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna add uh, I'm gonna add transitions um, I'm gonna add a transition for the beginning I'm gonna add another transition maybe a cinematic uh, that way you can see what it looks like something like that and then I'm gonna add another one um, I don't know maybe we could do something like that 
for now. There's going to be times where the clip is too short of a time where you can't split it or you, and if you can't split it you can't add a transition. Um, just you know be aware of that. You don't want to do every clip a transition because there's going to be times where you're going to have to you know you have a, th a three minute song and if you have you know a lot of clips then it this is this it's just it's just a pain in the ass so pace yourself with transitions and all that uh let's see let's see what it how it goes now okay right here i'm gonna uh, actually gonna add i'm gonna add music uh the way you uh, there's already stuff imported here uh you can also you know listen to Yo, this. DJ, put a nigga back to the record, baby, and get you know it has all this stuff already pre-added um what you want to do is just you know use this this if you upload this on youtube or uh, any social media you won't get any copyright flagged or anything but if you do decide to add like your own music from like your favorite band i don't know whatever it is um there are some times where you will get flagged now they will not take down your stuff but you know you, if you're trying to do, if you're trying to make money out of, off of it on YouTube, uh, that might not work for you. Um, once again, I do it for fun, so I don't really care what they do. If they remove it, they remove it. If not, whatever, you know. Um, I have uh, this is Noogie's favorite. My lucky, my lucky. Um, and then I also have, for example, uh, Logic. I have logic. I have a uh, have a lot of logic. Uh, this. You know all this stuff. Uh, this uh, what you could do is just download it from YouTube into uh, this website called uh, YouTube to MP3. You copy the link. You put it on the converter. Converts to an MP3. You put the MP3 uh, file on your computer and you put it on your USB. Uh, use your USB chip obviously you put the USB chip into the PlayStation and right here what says import from USB that's what you do you import it to the USB and you will have your very own music uh, if you need help with this just let me know and I'll teach you how to do it um, it's fairly easy it just sounds complicated uh, I won't get to that but uh, let's use uh, something that's already there I really like the one that was here oh this one makes some noise um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and we're gonna see what you know what we come up with. Yo, DJ, put a little back to the record, baby, and give me this right now. Once it's uh, well, this is the end of my video. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split it right before I kill them. Well, and then I'm gonna make this a. Actually, no, I can add a. I can add a. The outro. Yeah, there we go. And then add. You see what I mean? If if the if it this is too short, so if it's too short, it won't add a transition. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna delete this clip, and.
and once you delete something there's no like you know control Z nothing you can make it you, you can you can bring it back you would have to do everything over again so make sure you, you know you're gonna delete something um, it's for sure it's a for sure thing so <laughs> So right here, it's done. This is the end of my video. Uh, it has all this much time. That's because uh, if you look at the lines, I have the blue line, which is the timeline, the video timeline. And on under, it's the green line, which is the music timeline. Um, the, the video timeline ends here. Now the music timeline keeps going because it's 3 minutes, 10 seconds. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have to delete or cut out the video the music timeline to a minute and 24 seconds so it can be compatible with uh with the video timeline so what you do is you select square you go to edit music and uh you're gonna have to kind of like i like to cut it right before like a couple seconds before the video timeline um split it confirm and then now you delete this uh, and you see it gives you like like one point something second maybe two seconds worth of the rest uh, if it does happen uh, what you could do is fade out and maybe just add it you know and now when you actually finish it now it kind of sounds it sounds better you know it sounds like it goes with it all right so we got that um what i'm gonna do now is uh obviously revise everything make sure everything is good um once you're done with all the cutting and you know editing the clips making sure the clip goes with the music or whatever um you want to add you know the the spice on it uh for example on this one uh you can add a uh you can add a filter you add a filter basically obviously you know you press square you add um uh actually no you press uh x which is a plus and then you add a filter and you have uh different filters obviously all filters is black and white saturate colorize half tone all this um some of them are very strong where you can't really see the video play but for example this one is called dreamy um you can see how it looks. Um, if you don't like it, you can edit filter because it's already there and delete it or lower it. For example, in this case, the intensity is at 100. Maybe if we go like this, now that's a little bit more visible. Right now. So it's not that bad, but it's not the best. So, you know, delete it. Um, I like my personal favorite from here is uh it's probably uh this one VHS uh this one moves actually it's it's uh distortion shouldn't be that bad and then the static shouldn't be that bad I like this one this right now. um another filter I like is uh night vision is uh it's too strong for my taste so we're gonna just you know half tone it the only problem i have with the filters in here is that uh you can only edit the clip that you have uh say you wanted to do you know VHS for everything then you would have to go and add the VHS to each and every one of them uh, that's why I don't like to add a lot of filters uh, unless I know exactly what I want but you know uh, it's really up to you um, another thing that I like to do is for example um, add an overlay um, for example you add a, an overlay is uh, it can be a picture um, I imported this obviously uh, some of these are already here uh, you can add a picture uh, you can also add your own pictures uh, 
personalized and everything but the problem with this is that you have to edit them on your computer um, and you have to make them make them a certain size and certain pixels so it's a pain in the butt uh, I can help you out with that obviously uh, my favorite one is the text um, for example we're gonna use this text and we're just gonna put bot oh. and you're gonna click transform Uh, you move it around with the L2, R2, you tilt them, 90 degrees, 80 degrees, whatever, and with the R1, decrease the size, L2, uh, L1, decrease the size. I want something like this, and now it gives you text duration, obviously I want it to be about when I encounter the bot not when I actually kill him so it should be around there uh, and then you can also the opacity you can make it super visible low whatever I'll, I'll, I'll leave it around there you can change the color um, I don't like changing the colors it's, it just doesn't go with it and then text effects is, it has you know all this all this fun stuff different text um, like that that's a pretty cool Halloween one um, I don't I don't want to change any the text animation I like it uh, the beginning can be fade in can be wiped in sometimes they don't show um, oh yeah this one did uh, it can be flight in I like this one uh, the middle animation uh, can stay can pull suspend whatever you know, spin and then fade out once you have that you cl you, you know you click circle uh, align or relate if you if you have more than one uh, you can order the layers if you don't want them to overlap uh, that's really up to you once you're done you click uh, confirm I mean uh, cancel and it gives you a preview so once again you go all the way to the back and this is only giving you the preview on the clip that you select so it's not your whole video it's just the clip you select you see right here right here so and you see on my timeline it lights up yellow because that's where I added the overlay uh, you click button. if you want to add another uh, you know picture uh, it's about the same um, for example transform like that sticker duration obviously you don't want it that long and uh, you can do the same thing with the animation or whatever but I just want it there so uh, you click circle you go back to your timeline and then you kinda like just you know. see with the with the pictures I mean you don't really need them there but you know have fun playing around see what you know see what you come up with uh once you're done with that what else uh oh oh, oh the, the the time frame to the time lapse um this is a perfect example uh for the time lapse you have to split the clip uh i would split it because uh, if you don't it's gonna mess up your whole thing I will split the minute you want to slow down and the minute you want to speed up um, so you uh, click square you go to time bender um, you can speed up or you can slow down for example I want to speed up uh, you can I always recommend to do smooth instead of step um, and <laughs> kind of goes fast right and then right here you can time band and then you can slow down so Come on.
and that's how you do uh you know the time bend obviously you can speed it up more slow it down more but you know that's basically how it works uh play around with that um and i think that's about it uh edit track number two or add a second track is just adding uh you know another frame to your thing um i don't recommend it it's not you know it, it doesn't really work unless you're actually streaming uh with a picture you know with your picture if you want to add your own you know face to the stream then yeah it does work other than that it doesn't really fit a purpose um done with your video then what you want to do is double check it obviously Yo, you know you hit it and you go rah, 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 rah. um you want to click uh, the start button and then you want to export to gallery only export if you know exactly what you want I would also if you find like this um, I will click the uh, generate thumbnail the thumbnail it's gonna save this exact photo uh, or you know from the clip and when you upload it on your YouTube if you don't have a template ready for I mean, you don't have a thumbnail ready for your YouTube then you can use this for now uh, because then it will pick random something random so you don't want something like you don't want something like this on your YouTube it just doesn't make sense you know but whatever um, so you want to click start and then uh, obviously if you want to save your project to edit later save your project project saved and you want to export to shim so once you save it or export it, it's going to give you an option to share it or share it later. You can share it on your YouTube or you can share it later from your capture gallery. Uh, I will share it later. So I'm going to save and exit. Always save your project. And then I'm going to go to my last project. And it's going to load up the project we're working on. So, oh, actually, no. I'm sorry. You're gonna go to new project, and you're gonna scroll down. You have to, you obviously have to pick a theme. Uh, once again, I'm gonna remove this because I don't want none of this in my clip. What I want is the clip that I started with, which is test one. Continue, and and now you notice it's a full clip. It's it hasn't been cut. There's no. I can't edit nothing. The only way you can edit this is if you go back to your saved clips uh, or your your saved projects, I'm sorry, and then you go in and edit something. Uh, other than that, you can't really do nothing here anymore. This is basically it. This is your work. This is what you can uh, share on your YouTube and on your other social medias. So uh, by clicking the triangle button on the uh, top left, you can see it says share on the website. So. Uh, you can test it out, see how it works. So that's 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 what I was supposed to look. Um, now, if you do want to add your own little thing, well, right here, if you want to cut something out, if you cut it out, then it's gonna cut out the music. So, if you remove, say, this clip, 
uh, automatically the two clips are the the two clips that are left are gonna connect, but then they're gonna be missing that part of the song. So I wouldn't recommend cutting anything out of here uh, once you have it. The only thing you could probably do is add on uh, effects or something uh, or text. Um, I would recommend to add, for example. Um, for example, add an overlay, add a, for example, something like, oh, something like this, transform, drop it, maybe to like right there, or oh, something smaller, because I think that's, that's too big, something like this. You don't have to add this, but you can, you know, just play with it. Uh, sticker duration. I'm going to go all the way to the left and slowly go here. And then uh, sticker animation. I just wanted to fade in and I just wanted to fade out. That's all I want. Um, once you do that, then you also add a text and you do your own little your own little tag uh you transform it oh shit Transform, not that one. Yeah. I just wanted to fit exactly there. Uh, text duration. Obviously, I wanted to fade with everything, so. Okay, and then obviously text animation as well, fade in and fade out, and then we test it out. Yo, DJ, put a little back to the record, baby, and give me this right now. You see, it just gives it a more, you know, professional look, if you want to say. Uh, now, what, if you do anything on it, the only way you can actually save that in there is by clicking export to gallery again. Alright, so once you export it to gallery again, um, what you want to do is obviously save your project. And then um, you want to go to uh, just... Uh, where is it? Uh, export to gallery, save project, then go on your um, uh, on your clips on your gallery, and then just uh, share it, and then share it on your uh, on your Facebook or on your YouTube, wherever you know. Uh, that's basically how you do this. Uh, it's pretty fun. It's something you know you might you might want to take some pride into doing. Uh, and you know pick different songs or you know try different things I mean at the end of the day you're picking out the best clips that you think uh, you know are worth watching and it's not just a random you know one second two second three second clip it's something you put time and effort into doing it and a lot of people I feel like you know they enjoy watching stuff like this I do alright guys uh, that's it if you have any questions comments uh let me know uh, i'll be glad to help uh this is it bye for now